Hi, my name is Majid Moshifar, and I'm one of the professors at Moran Eye Center, Department of Ophthalmology. My specialty is corneal transplantation, uh, and today I wanted to talk with you about uh, uh, what we call corneal transplant or penetrating keratoplasty, the fancier name for it. Uh, we do pr provide this service at Moran Eye Center, and penetrating keratoplasty is a procedure that uh, makes us be able to give patients cornea from donor. We do have our own eye bank and we are able to provide the donor tissue through the eye bank to our patients, the hosts. Uh, in order to use the donor for the host, there's certain preparation that needs to go uh, through and then eventually once these tissues are clear cleared uh, from every possible diseases and they have gone through very rigorous screening, they would be ready to be used for our patients. Many of our hosts uh, are waiting uh, for the corneal transplant one to two months, but it's hardly ever that our patients have to wait six or seven months before they get a corneal transplant. Corneal transplantation is usually done in the operating room under general anesthesia or under local anesthesia. The procedure is usually about an hour to two hours. And depending on the technique, sometimes patients need to have 12, 16, 18, 24, and sometimes 36 sutures. The style of suture placements are variable between surgeons, and after surgery, patients will be followed very closely day one, week one, week two, month one, month three, month six, and month seven, and then up to month 12. During this time, patients need to be watched for corneal rejection, failure of the cornea. They need to have selective suture removal so that the stigmatism can be controlled better. Many of our patients still require to wear glasses or hard contact lens. As a matter of fact, in our most recent analysis that we did on our data, close to 60% of our patients still need to wear some form of contact lens. They are either hard, soft, or soft or rigid gas permeable lenses. Most of our patients that undergo corneal transplantations are patients with a disease we call keratoconus. Keratoconus is a very common disease in Utah and we see them among families. Although it's a hereditary disease, we see that keratoconus can even happen in patients with no prior family history. We encourage you to be screened carefully for that, and if you ever have keratoconus, don't hesitate to let us know. We will be able to provide you with this service, specifically corneal transplant. Thank you for your attention.